Ito. Ito na nga yung sinasabi. So, exclusive lang po sa signal. According to Sir Jose Victor Torres, the history of it. Are you more? Mali. Good evening. Welcome to the Inclusive Report. I'm Carlos Kanashi. Together with me is Billy San Pakuse. Hi, I'm Billy. Uh, and before we start our topic, we will start now with the recitation of the Horacio Imperata in English recited by Carlos Miguel Avellana Kanashi. To our fellow H&I members and everyone, here now is the Horatio Imperata against COVID-19. God our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Protect the medical experts that they minister to the sick with competence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. And grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace and the strong time to work for the good of all and to help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us from our fears. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. We plant your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, out of the sea, pray for us. 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 Saint Brock, pray for us. Pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Luis, pray for us. Pray for us. Saint Pedro Caluso. Pray, Pray for, for us. Amen. Okay. This evening in the TIR, we will be discussing Hello, about the SONA 2020 review. Okay. So, our host for today is me and Billy on behalf hey. of Royland, Zed, uh, Cedric, and Danmar for TIR. And now this evening, let us now tackle about the SONA 2020. Due to the health protocol brought about by the COVID-19, COVID only a few cabinet members and lawmakers were allowed to attend the session hall in the Batasan Pambansa complex in Batasan, Quezon City. Members of the media were also denied access to the assembly and were only allowed to use RTVM and PTV's broadcast feed. And the sauna on last Monday took almost one hour and 41 minutes. 41 minutes. Okay. So hours before the sauna began, several uh, groups, mostly multi-sectoral and progressive groups, rallied at the University of the Philippines, Diliman, to participate in the sauna Kaisa rally. What is the purpose, Billy? Of the to hold opposition, uh, the main purpose of the rally is to voice opposition against the signing of the Anti-Terrorism Act of 2020 and the government's response to handling of the pandemic crisis, among others. They only rallied only in UP, not yes. in the 
Commonwealth Avenue proper because the Commonwealth Avenue is covered by police and barricades. And barricades. Since they do observe physical and social distancing, in, in they didn't defy the AITF and the Quezon City government order on the ground of rallies. Yes. Right? Unlike they, what they did during the Manyanita protest on June 12, they do practice physical they and did social practice physical and social distancing. And also the day online day. rally last May 1. Online rally. Yes. On Zoom. Okay. What are the highlights of the SONA 2020? So, the COVID-19 pandemic crisis. President Duterte addressed the country's plights amidst the COVID-19 pandemic, which has thwarted the various sectors of the local economy and affected the lives of thousands. Furthermore, last Monday, with over 82,000 confirmed cases of COVID-19 in the country, President Duterte said he pleaded with President Xi Jinping of the People's Republic of China to prioritize our country in providing a vaccine against the virus. He said, no nation was spared, neither rich nor poor was spared from the onslaught of this disease. But let us not despair, the vaccine is around the corner. He also confirmed that there are 93 accredited testing laboratories nationwide. The government aims to conduct 1.4 Meaning test by the end of July. Can you explain to this further, Lily? <clears throat> okay. So, there have been 82,000 confirmed cases of COVID-19 in the Philippines as of today. Kaya, the President Duterte had pleaded with Chinese President Xi Jinping to put the Philippines in top priority in providing an effective vaccine against the virus. Right now, there are 93 accredited testing laboratories nationwide. The government's aim ay para magkaro magkaroon ng conduction ng 1.4 million tests. Sabi rin ng Pangulo na hindi nakapaghanda ang mga bansa all over the world sa pandemic na to. However, malapit na raw mailabas ang bakuna laban sa COVID-19. Okay. Can you, I have a question. Yes. So, because of the COVID-19 pandemic, our everyday lives, not only in the Philippines but throughout the world, came to a halt? Yeah. Why? Because some countries impose lockdowns. In countries close. throughout the world like one of the examples are the community quarantine in the philippines the singapore circuit breaker and the malaysia movement control order yeah and also the covid19 pan um lockdown in india in india what else and the wuhan lockdown the wuhan lockdown and it took several months for that So, because of this, um, the COVID-19, we want, is, so that by next year and the next years to come, pag wala na ang pandemic, inaasahan na rin. Hopefully, wala na. Hopefully, wala na. That's why we will continue to pray and everything. Okay. Oligarchies. This is Can you read this and explain to us further? Media is a powerful tool in the hands of the oligarchs like the Lopez's who use it for their bows with political figures. According to the President Duterte, as he opened his speech with a rant against the Lopez clan running media giant ABS-CBN. Also towards the end of his address, President Duterte called out Senator Franklin Delon and his oligarchy Questioning Senator Drelon being a part of the Angara Abelio Concepcion Regala and Cruz, ACRA Law Office in Drafting Manila Waters Contract. President Duterte told Senator Drelon that current oligarchies in the country dates back to the Spanish times. 
This is the oligarchy that controls the Philippines by taking control of the water, electricity, power. Yan ang oligarchy mo, Dilon, he stated. Moreover, the president emphasized how corruption in the Bureau of Customs is incomparable to those in higher government positions. So, okay, what does Basically, this mean? Basically, it's like, kinokontrol daw ng mga oligarchs ang mga... Parang they're taking control to, by using battles with political figures. Although some would not build, although some would contradict with that. Some oligarchies only become powerful after decades, in my own opinion. Kinol out pa si Senator Dilon dahil daw. Yung oligarchies ngayon, gaya ng Ayalas and Lopezes, ay nagkakontrol na sa water, electricity, and power since the Spanish colonial times. Although, I don't know when I did the research about the oligarchies. Some of them only became prominent after after six or seven decades or even a century. Okay, this what is this Manila water contract? This is because in Manila, that is because last year we experienced a water crisis. Yes. Because of the low critical levels in Angat, Ipo, and La Mesa. Because these are the sources of our water supply in our country. In our country. And some, yung mga pumalit, yung mga nag-takeover, like, not everyone has good uh, experience sa pumalit dyan yung prime water. My relatives, naka-prime water sila and they do not like the service. Yun ang, yun, yun ang, I believe, isinusulong na ipapalit sa Manila Water at Maynila. And I don't know why I'm very doubtful about that. Siguro kasi my relatives keep ranting about yung sa prime water. Bakit ganun yung ser- services nila? Okay. And also this, Lopez. The one who owned ABS-CBN, the network that was shut down last May 5 in compliance with the cease and desist order. The Lopez's are the news reporting of ABS-CBN is critical to the Duterte administration. They they're not neutral, right? Why? Some okay. Can you please Maybe. elaborate? There, siguro yung pagbabalita nila might be too critical and yung exposés nila. Nilalabas talaga yung mga quote, yung mga truths and all of it. Kaya some are not happy about it. Although they they do this naman eh, yung pag uh, call them bias by some people but for me yung kanilang pagbabalita naman they're trying their best to make it as fair as possible although in although in the past may mga may mga ano rin shortcomings or anything like that they're willing naman to correct their past mistakes according to their statements. Okay. Although they don't really and di naman sila basically nag-endorse ng mga ganito or ganyang figures lalo na pag election period. Okay. Yes. So, the Sea Games last year, the President yes. Duterte commends the government for the successful, successful hosting of the 2019 Southeast Asian Games. He voices approval for the establishment of the National Academy of Sports. This will provide student athletes with necessary support and training. And training. And that's why, during the Sea Games, we won as one. We won as one. But this year, COVID-19, we heal as one. As one. Because that is the song 
Um, that is the COVID-19 song, We Heal As One. We you think that's it? One with kindness. You will, we heal as one. You will see that on TV and you will hear that on the radio. Yes. That's why the Sea Games is a success. Lalo na sa paggawa ng fake news kaugnay dito, sabi ni Alan Peter Cayetano, pag sa mga ginawa ng fake news, peace be with you. So, during the closing ceremony, he said that the opening ceremony of the Sea Games started last November 30, November 2019, 2019 at the Philippine Arena. Philippine Arena. In Bukawe, Bulacan. President Duterte was there. The Sultan of Brunei, Hassan al Bolkiya, was there. And other and Duterte opened the Sea Games. The Sea Games theme song, We Win as One, is sung by Leia Salonga. It's Leia Salonga. One of the famous artists, not only in the Philippines, but in the world. Famous. Yes. And also, um, the Sea Games was interrupted because of Ambo, right? Yes. And some schools near the Rizal Memorial Stadium were suspended, like Benio Manila, Saint Sto, De La Salle University, De La Salle University, and the other schools that are closer to the Rizal Memorial. The management announced the suspension of classes. They also announced the the public using vehicles to stop using EDSA at that time because of the heavy traffic costs by the consigning with the Bermonds and the Sea Games last year. One of their alternates really is to take the MRT or LRT or take yeah. use of Mabuhay Lanes. The Mabuhay Lanes are alternates of EDSA. The Mabuhay Lanes. It's, right? Yes. And, and aside from that, um, and also for the, and also, are these are the only schools that suspend classes during the Sea Games week from December 1 to 7? The Minion Manila, the La Salle University, Saint Scholastica. Saint Paul, uh, what else? Does that include Arellano Law School? What? Um, mas, ay, mas malayo yun eh. Also, yung pamantasan ng lungsod. Na yun. yes. Pamantasan ng lungsod ng Maynila. These are the only schools that declared the suspension of classes during the Sea Games Week last year. And Ambo also. <laughs> Sorry. But what is this? The National Academy of Sports. Especially, mga PWDs. Who are, uh, who are athletes like Mr. Ernie Gawilan. He is also... Ernie Gawilan is an athlete also. Despite his for being a PWD, he continued to do his swimming activity and went around Philippines and abroad to compete in swimming competitions in order to represent the country. <laughs> right, Billy? Yes, yes. What we interviewed last time, see Miss. Sir Ernie Gawilan. That's why for PWDs, for our plans, we will include a sport center for PWDs to be inspired by the at uh, the Philippine Arenas pla- uh, Philippine design. Arenas design. The Hans Inclusion Sports Center. We might include that. Hopefully. Hopefully soon. After the yes. pandemic. <laughs> and also and also there are fake news like the Indonesians eat kikyam it's because Indonesia is a Muslim country they do not allow to eat pork pork why <laughs> because Brunei Indonesia and Malaysia and Malaysia are, are Muslim countries but their culture is diverse and mixed or mixed yes and Brunei is all Muslim. Muslim country. And also in Singapore, there are Malays there. The Malays there. Are Malays there. We do not eat pork there. The kikyam 
What Kikiam is what is Kikiam? It's part of the fake news. Yes. What is Kikiam? I have uh, yung alam ko lang na Kikiam yung made with seafood, but there are also Kikiam variations made with pork. And also the what is this? They're using the Philippine flag as a tablecloth. That's not allowed. Um, where did that come from? I can't understand. Nakita ko yan before eh. Pero bakit, why would anyone use Philippine flag as tablecloth? Well, it's very much not allowed. Wow, look at this. This is false. False. Yes. A photo showing the Philippine flag as a tablecloth for catering services during the SEA Games. But this picture is considered fake. Yes. It was originally captured in 2015. The Philippine flag cannot be used as a tablecloth. A tablecloth. As the public day. act number 8451 or the code of the national flag states that the flag should not be used as a drapery festoon tablecloth. And also, this is just one of the false posts about it, sea games it, it circulating. Is a fake news. Yes. Look at this. They're using the. This is not allowed, but this is an old picture. Yeah. So they're using the Philippine flag. I don't a, know if that's real or Photoshop. I'm okay. so sorry. Anyway, the reinstatement of the death penalty. Ah, listen. President Duterte yes. also took the opportunity to spread to stress on the reimposition of the death penalty by lethal injection for crimes under the RA-9165 or the Dangerous Drugs Drug Act, of, Act of 2002, especially drug-related problems. He said, this law will help us not only to deter criminality but also save our children from the dangers posed by the use of illegal drugs. That means the Philippines might return back to death penalty. We have other countries in Southeast Asia that use death penalty. Singapore, Malaysia, Indonesia. Really? Um, Saudi Arabia, Taiwan, the, and UAE use death penalty as the punishment for drugs. Could this be... Could this be reinstated for those who committed heinous crimes as well again? Not only for those who 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 were committed crimes for drug related problems. What about those na na nasangkot sa high profile kidnapping, hold up, crime, crime? Rape slay, terrorism, mga ganyan. What about, okay. what about rape suspects? What about murder suspects? Yung okay. mga nag-commit na massacre, they, that yes. should be counted in. Okay, okay. Next. The shift to online classes. As part of the new normal or education in the new normal era, transition to online learning have been prioritized. Until COVID-19 vaccine is available, I will not allow the traditional face-to-face -face classes. And this will not put the lives at risk for the students and the teachers. And teachers. Because of this, the Department of Health Education to operate via online and modular learning. And these who cannot participate online classes until a vaccine is available. They also asked Chad to propose the scholarship program scholarship for the workers' dependence. ESDA offered 371 online training courses. In order to help Filipinos upgrade their skills. So what does this mean? Um, okay. For the, for, for the moment, dapat talaga prioritize ang online classes. Nagaya nung sa mga in both private and public. Alam nga namang mapunta pa sa alanganin yung buhay ng mga students and teachers, lalo na yung mga minors, the better option for now, yung may online distance learning. That's, that's what 
everyone should consider. Kaya, pwede namang i-push yung online and modular learning. Paano rin pala yung mga, those who cannot afford yung mga services? That should also be put into consideration. Lalo na yung mga students from classes B and E. Lalo na yung mga willing talagang mag-aral. Pero yung mga hindi naman nila na-afford. And it's not their fault. Why? Gusto rin lang naman matuto. They want to have good education. Hmm. No, that they won't delay our studies. Yes. The face-to-face classes will resume until a go signal is made by the Philippine government. Okay. The Land Use and Agriculture Financing Act. The Philippine Duterte urged Congress to pass the National Land Use Act in order to manage the country's natural resources and to protect the environment. They will also oversee the country's land use plans and policies. They will pass, pass the Rural Agriculture and Financing System Act to provide food for the Filipinos under the Plant, Plan, Plan Program. So, because of my course in Benued Manila, which is Real Estate Management, the course that I'm currently in, I have to go in, to go to uh, to be in favor of this because we want as future real estate practitioners in the future, as future real estate practitioners, I should check to see if the property complies with that law. Yes. Yung mga farming lands and mga ganyan should be protected. Lalo na, what if developers want them to become real estate? Sustainability should still be prioritized. So, before they consider to buy a land, kailangan mo lang yung isipin, paano kung kabuhayan pala nito? Pala yan ng mga farmers. Palay. Oh, oh, and sila ng source of living kung gagawin real estate development ang mga farmland. Yes, yan ang course ko. Course a, lot ko of, a lot of, a lot of uh, developments, by the way, in my current province, they all, many of them used to be farmlands. Where? What's you your observation? I'm in Cavite currently. Cavite. I don't know exactly which real estate developments used to be farmland? For me, uh, because I've been to, because Pampanga is, Pampanga is my province. We have a lot of farms there. Yes. Because of the farmlands. Also, this one, as part of my course, build, build, build. The golden age of infrastructure. Infrastructures under the Build, Build, Build program are economic benefits. They will also resume the big ticket projects such as the Anlex Harbor Link, Talax, Skyway, Stage 3, the T-Plex. This will help us to not only to prevent traffic but to, to, to recover the economy in the post-pandemic era in our country. What is Talax? Cavite Laguna Expressway. That connects Cavitex to Silang Cavite and Santa Rosa Laguna. And this will decongest Aguinaldo Highway. Yes. Governor's Drive. And that mean and Santa Tagaytay Santa Rosa Road. Doon doon po abagtas mga relatives ko pag pupunta sila Tagaytay from Dasma, yung Governor's Drive. In Pani case yung... na fully operational ng Calax they could have the option na mag-calax na, na lang para makapagtagaytay. Rather than take Governor's Drive and Aguinaldo Highway. Well, well, you're in Amos. What is the closest highway there? Um, is it Governor's? Governor and Aguinaldo. Aguinaldo Highway from Daanghari. Daanghari. Yes, or minsan... Dili ko kami sa Baco, we go to Molina Road and Bacor Boulevard, then we turn to Aguinaldo Highway. And also, the near Marville, 
Las Piñas, but it's too far already. We've, hindi kami nakaka, we, all, we go through Las Piñas via Zapote. Zapote, Alabang Zapote. Alabang these Zapote. Roads, but these roads are always congested. Governor yes. and Aguinaldo. But instead, because of the Kalax, it will help us go. How about the Skyway Stage 3? The one that we built in the center of R. North Luzon Expressway and South Luzon Expressway. And what will be the purpose? To remove traffic in EDSA and C5. EDSA and C5 too. EDSA, C5, and the other major thoroughfares in Metro Manila like Araneta Avenue. Araneta, Espana, Quirino, es, uh, Rizal Avenue, Rizal Avenue, Manila, e. Rodriguez, Aurora Boulevard. Yes, Ramon Magsaysay Boulevard. Boulevard. Basta yung lap, yung dumadaan sa SM Center Point. Lap going sa to CN Union. Or how about Shaw Boulevard? It will also be congested that too. Shaw Boulevard. Yes, from Where is that Shaw Boulevard. Going fr- from Manila to Mandaluyong all the way to Pasig. That will also be decongested. Bonnie Avenue, of course. Bonnie be Mandaluyong. Mandaluyong. And how about the Osmania Highway? Osmania Highway, Manila going to Makati. Yes. That's under the Skyway Stage 3. How about, yes. that means to remove, get rid of EDSA, get rid of C5, T. Rodriguez, Araneta, Aurora, Magsaysay. Aurora Boulevard. Naman Magsaysay Boulevard. Uh, Shaw Boulevard. Shaw Boulevard. Ortigas Avenue. and uh, Yes. And also the, what is this? The Espana. Quezon Ave. Bonifacio Avenue. Bonifacio Quezon City to Palaocan. Yes. And also, uh, so... C3, Palaocan. C3. Sergeant Rivera. By sa Palaocan North. Ha- yes. Doon dun kasi malapit yung Toll Plaza ng NLAX. And how about yung sa papunta ng Malabon? Harbor Link yung Harbor Link yung papunta ng Malabon. Harbor Link M Lopez Manila up to Valenzuela City. What is this NLEX Harbor Link? The what? Mindanao Avenue, Navotas, Malabon. Valenzuela muna before Caloocan, Malabon and Navotas. Then oh. it will connect to North Harbor via M Lopez. Melo. So, example, Billy, you want to go to Baguio from Tagaytay. Instead of using EDSA or C5, what will you use? And Lex Harbor Link or Skyway Stage 3 or both? Ay, Baguio. Skyway to Baguio. Skyway Stage 3. EDSA is always congested. Yes, even con- For example, I live in Quezon City and I want to go to Manila for my class. Then when the Skyway Stage 3 is done, my entry point might be in Quezon Ave or E. Rodriguez and my exit point might be in Quirino or Buendia. Quirino or Buendia. But or this, some, somewhere in Nagtahan ba yun? Depende it, sa location of school. My school ah, is in... Ah. Uh, then uh, yung pala... Binyad Manila. Pwede, pwede sa Quirino or Buendia. Quirino. That's me. For example, you, I want to go to Naiya from Tagaytay. Then you want, I can use Scalax and Skyway. Scalax, Cavitex, Scalax, Naiya X. Naiya X. How about if I want to go to, let's say, Clark from Tagaytay? Skyway Stage 3 would be my source. Clark the, Airport. Uh, Kalax, uh, Cavitex, Naia X, Skyway okay. Stage 3. Tagaytay all the way to where? Tagaytay to, let's say, Clark. Sa Pampanga. 
the Clark Skyway Stage and... 3 after Naia Expressway and then NLEX na. NLEX and FF. What is this T-Plex? So, T-Plex is going from Tarlac up to Tarlac, Pangasinan La Union. If you want to go to Baguio from Tarlac, T-Plex instead of T-Plex using MacArthur going. Highway. MacArthur Highway is always traffic. Going yes. to Pangasinan. Example, I went to Baguio. I use NLEX, FETEX, and T-Plex. My NLEX starts at Mindanao Avenue and ended up in T-Plex, Poza Rubio, N3, going to Baguio. Nag-waste ako nung pumunta ng Baguio <laughs> using my phone daily. Um, and it took around 2 to 3 hour travel time. If if ma-implement na yung Skyway Stage 3 and Lex as the text flex, lessen yung travel time. How about you? Have you been to the north before? Northern hmm. Luzon, like Baguio? We, we were hanggang, zam, hanggang subit lang kami. Subit, sambali. Wala, so pang, wala pang, ano pa lang nun, bagong rehabilitate lang ang NLEX that was back in 2005. So, NLEX, wala pa. I, I think two hours yun or one, one to two um, hours. Kami, eh. Hindi ko na, from, galing dun pa kami sa Metro Manila, sa Malabon. So, okay. from there, nag- uh, nag C3 kami papuntang NLEX saka kami nag uh, tuloy-tuloy hanggang Subic San yun yung NLEX entry point San Fernando going to yes. Subic just before the text no nang sambales ako I I use NLEX and SETEX nung manawag ako NLEX SETEX NLEX Yes. And next, is it next T-Plex? Kami, hanggang Anilaw lang from Cavite. Ani- we used MCX, then South Luzon Expressway. Hindi ko lang kung nag-start all way kami pa Anilaw. I think Where that was Anilaw? to Anilaw, Batangas. Batanga. So, if I want to go to Batangas from Clark, and next, is it next? Uh, Skyway and, Stage 3. Skyway and Stage 3. And, and, uh, SNX and Star. This will help us yes. remove traffic. Start away. How about this? If you want to transact online instead of using cash, what does this mean based on this slide? As mentioned by the president, the OST offered its technology upgrading program enterprise to enable businesses to access help and training into transitioning to online and contactless operations. Physical queuing will be a thing of the past and the transition to online systems will be the new normal. President Duterte pushes for patrolling the country's cyberspace for enforcing online consumer data protection and private laws, which will be both beneficial for physical and online security. What I like, this is good. This will be convenient, Rahil. We don't have to queue into long lines. Para lang makapagbayad, we could already do it online. Basta ma-push lang itong online contactless operations. Yes. Lalo na sa bills payment. Paying cash, using GCash, PayMaya. Especially we do that during the including hand, the ongoing Honestly, magpapaturo pa ako sa pinsan ko ng GCash eh. I, my Nagpapaload sila through that and magpa- I will ask them, paano ba mag-GCash? Okay. Baka sa, in case I'll receive money through that. Yun okay. lang ang problem ko. Anyway, so... Sorry. Sakit ang sorry. right ear ko. I had to remove. Okay. So, the COVID-19 recovery. So, the Bayanihan 2 will be prioritized. Or the Bayanihan to recover as one. That is the, the sequel of the Bayanihan to heal as one app. In or, the NDVA. The National Disease Prevention Authority and 
by 2021, we need to increase access to health care and services. And we need to revive the economy after the pandemic. So in order to attract to the small businesses, we have to do okay. the Create Act and the Fist Act. We need loans or what you call as the Social Amelioration Program. The Social Amelioration Program is, uh, is like the um, funds from the government. Billy, based on the slides for the reviving of the economy through the Social Amelioration Program, what does this mean as persons with disabilities and as members of Hands Inclusion? Ah, sorry, it's I know. Okay, this is what many people, lalo na yung mga nasa classes D and E need para sa ano nila, para sa kanilang pangangailangan. Admittedly, hindi pa kami nakatatanggap nung cash na pinangako sa amin nung local government. I don't know why. Pero sana na distribute yung cash aid sa amin. For example, months back, kailangan lang talaga ng mga affected individuals ng cash assistance. Lalo na for those who have plans na mag-start ng small micro and small businesses through para para yung economy natin ma-revive. Okay. I have yep. I have sorry, pandadag ko lang. May mga I have friends and relatives na nag small business. <laughs> yeah, Although okay. I've been trying na wag masyadong mag-order sa kanila. I don't I don't want to support them dahil hindi naman kami palaging we have to save up then, although we don't want to support those na may mga small businesses, lalo na sa online. Yes. Okay. So that's, that's why we have a fundraising activity called Inclunihan. Inclunihan. That is a fundraising activity of Health Inclusion Philippines. We include that for, for the one set for the PWDs who cannot afford to go to work and haven't received the social amelioration program from the government. That is part of the to revive the economy after the pandemic. Okay. As we move on to the other topics, amplifying children and human rights. And human what, rights. What does this mean? Can you explain this and elaborate this? According to the president, the government is amplifying its efforts in the protection of children and human rights and put an end to discrimination of people based on age, ethnicity, gender identity, and other character traits. We will not dodge our obligation to fight for human rights, President Duterte stated. With Executive Order 92 being signed last year leading to the establishment of Children's rights will be intensified to prevent, reduce, and eliminate any form of child labor. Doon ako na, na intriga sa, why do some companies still do child labor? It's definitely not allowed yet. Although dapat mas magkaroon pa nung clear policy na child labor should not be allowed. Diba? Dapat yung mga ano, they should allow children na mag-aral muna and yun, all of it. Saka na sila pag-abahuhin. That means dapat ma-discriminate. To stop that discrimination. That's, that's what we need to... Wag mo tayo ma-discriminate just because we're too young, we're too old, the LGBT community, blah, 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 blah. The PWDs. Saka mga... And all the minorities, lalo na yung mga galing sa if the tribes people, ganun. What's the correct term yung mga, what's the correct term for mga, mga Aita? Collective Aita, Manobo, Mamanua. Ethnic groups. Mga ganyan. They, yes, they don't deserve, they do not deserve uh, discrimination as well. And that's why, as members of because Hans Inclusion is promoting is 
continue the fight against the stock of discrimination. We, we want an inclusion to stop discrimination to the people to the to the PWDs regardless of their age, religion, ethnicity, identity, and other character traits. Yes. And that's why we H and I, we at H and I, we put God first. We are called we, we put we are pro Filipino culture and pro democracy. Pro democracy. Based on the core values. Okay, telecommunications. We will discuss this tomorrow. So the Telte experience towards smart and globe. They call it lousy. Lousy. To and be it, fair, naman ni. Eh. To be sab- fair sa amin. Lousy. Hindi agad na respond niyo sa globe. Eh. Parang two or three weeks. No, 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 no. More than one month pala bago na balik yung Wi-Fi ng globe. We are currently using Converge ICT Fiber X since July. Since this July. Oh, although okay naman yung Globe, they should have restored it much, much, much earlier. Okay. He said, have- can we improve the services before December? I want to call this to- President Bethlehem. Bethlehem Beth- 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 here. If you are not ready to improve, I might just as well close all of you and we revert back to the line telephone. Okay, telephone. Um, do, we, do we still want na mag, mag-gastos para sa IDD call? Mag-scratch ng calling card? Everything is it's more convenient na for me na mag-Skype, <laughs> Facebook Messenger call, Zoom, whatever, ganyan. <laughs> That's a what? technologies. Okay. I can't true. imagine na magbalik tayo sa IDD mag maghulog hulog ng coins para makatawag lang sa mga nasa abroad. The telephone booth, diba? lalo na sa ibang bansa. Also, the foreign policy. We want, we shall not go against we are against the return of American military bases because this will ensure the extinction of the Filipino race. Ibang US and Philippines, so walang pake sa... We are not against... Nothing against America. Nothing against China. Walang pake ang America, China. But if you put bases, this will destroy the Filipino race. Right? Yes. Can you, can you elaborate about that, please? Ah, sorry. Independent foreign policy. American re-establishment of the bases. Bakit ganun? Yung American foreign military bases returning to Subic, does that really makakapugsa talaga na Filipinos yan? Parang ano naman eh. I don't really understand why there are military bases. I've been studying that, pero I still cannot figure out why they got yun. That's why. Because Duterte discussed the Philippines claiming of the West Philippine Sea. Remember last June, some of the government officials went to Pag-asa Island with a accidental roaming message, Welcome to China. Or welcome, welcome to China. Or Welcome to Vietnam. Bakit hindi... Uh, what get we have to go? We are prepared to go on war with China. Uh, diplomatic <laughs> endeavors. Parang the statement is more like nag-concede na ang Philippines sa China. Although, according to UNCLOS, that territory is, that's part of the Philippine territory. Bakit hindi na lang ipaglaban yung sa West Philippine Sea claims? Especially yung sa nine dash line rule. That's my opinion regarding that yung sa West Philippine Sea. Remember yung no yung example eh yun ginawa oh pag naman nung June example yung mabasa ito sa phone mo. 
Pag naka-on ito, roaming sa pag-asa roaming. island. Pag-asa island. Ang, ang sample, pag smart or globe, ang gamitin mo doon, ang iyang asabi mo, pag isa, ah, kapag punta ng Puerto Princesa, welcome to China pa din, or welcome to Vietnam, pag nasa Puerto Princesa ka na, Yes. Dapat welcome to the Philippines yan. Oo nga. Bakit, bakit naging ganun? Yung sa Pag-asa Island, gumamit ng roaming doon. Dahil mahina ang cell towers doon sa Pag-asa Island. Sa Palawan. Yan kailangan i-improve yung cell site sa Palawan. Ng mga Lalo na, may di maroaming using Malaysia, China, or Vietnam. Yung sa Malaysia, roaming, Ginamit yan sa Tawi-Tawi at sa southern part ng Palawan. Sa Sakop ba Ay, yung sa Taiwan yung sa Batanes? Yes, at saka yung Ilocos. Yeah, I know yung, that. Umaabot sa Ilocos yung sa Taiwan. Yung Taiwan at saka Hong Kong. Malaysian roaming hanggang Zamboanga pa. Zamboanga. Kasi nakakalu- may, mga zam- may mga Zambo na nakakabili ng Malaysian. Galing, Malaysia. Sa, galing sa Malaysia yung mga pagkain. May, may mga nabibili sa Zamboanga. Yung At iba uh, roaming na sa Saga. China and Vietnam sa Palawan. <laughs> uh, welcome to China or welcome to Vietnam. Pag sa Globe, eh, Globe Advisory. Welcome to China. Your health and your is unwell being for us. Pang Globe ka. And then, pag na-deactivate ang roaming, pagbalik ka sa Philippines, welcome back to the Philippines, your roaming is deactivated. You may enjoy ah. all the local promos as soon as there is validity. Nag-roaming ka ba dati sa ibang bansa, Billy? No, so, I, hadn't, I hadn't been in a foreign country yet. Me, so, I did. Lang, I nearly went to Taiwan, pero di lang kami naka, nakapag-apply nung ng passport. So, we weren't able to go to Taiwan with our relatives. Yun, yung, yun, yun, oh, lang, oh, yun lang ang aking main reason. Ako, abroad ako, nag-roaming ako. I use my phone while roaming. Prepaid and postpaid ang gamit ko. Oh. Ay, postpaid. Wala, ba, wala ako prepaid back up ever eh. in my end. All uh... Minsan eh. Example, pag example, nasa Batanes ka, masasagap ka ng signal eh. Sabihin mo, welcome to Taiwan. Pag sa Ilocos Norte or Ilocos Sur or Pangasinan, welcome to Hong Kong ang sasagap mo na roaming na. Kapag sa Tawi-Tawi o sa Zamboanga eh, welcome to Malaysia ang lalagay na roaming message. O pag sa Jensen ka, welcome to Indonesia ang lalagay na message. At saka pag nasa Puerto Princesa o pag asa island, welcome to China or welcome to Vietnam. Considered yan as accidental roaming. You know that? For example, nasa Canada ka, e eh malapit ka sa US, ang lalagay mo sa phone mo, welcome to the USA. Di ba? Or pag nasa Mexican border, welcome to Mexico. <laughs> Accidental roaming. <laughs> Di ba, Billy? Did you get what I say? Billy? 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 Naka-on na yung mic ko. You. Really? Please on your mic. Yung A. I'll expand it. Sorry. A, di ba? Sandali lang. Extend 
Listen. Lily, he's on your mind. Or just remove your headset. Hindi ko mahirapan. So we can hear you better. I'll just go early. Then on my end is unavoidable too. Cannot unmute. Okay. We will be leaving right now, so we might be called in for dinner. Ayan na. Billy, I can see Billy. Okay. Example na, guys. Pag ito, pag West Philippines yan, tsaka yung telecommunications, lalo na sa pag-asa island, eh, pag nandun ka sa Puerto Princesa, welcome to China pa rin. Sa Puerto Princesa, sa Palawan, ilagay mo sa phone, welcome to China, welcome to Vietnam. Kapag sa Ilocos ka, welcome to Hong Kong or welcome to China or Taiwan. Eh, di ba? Eh na, really, there na. There. Getting off the table now for dinner. Really? Okay. So, in summary... Ang sona ni Duterte nung July 27 sa Batas. All right, naririnig na kita. I'm so sorry. I, okay. Have you read these messages that I was supposed to leave early? Para okay. my parents told me to eat na pala. Okay na. I can, okay. I don't know if I can continue at this time dahil... It's adamant for us to eat dinner at this time kasi eh. Or, or is it imperative? Wait, wait, wait. Anyway, anyway. let's summarize. Duterte announced on Sona last July 27 and to stop oligarchs to go on with the pandemic as soon as a vaccine is discovered. The, the success of the Sea Games To revive the economy through its infrastructure, through the build, 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 for the OFWs who cannot spread, go home. For the OFWs who cannot spread, who cannot go home or can go back to the Philippines. And for the laps in, in pandemic, we need to prioritize on the pandemic, on the Bayanian to recover as one act, tax reform small and medium businesses, tourism, China. We need to have a vaccine from Sinotech, from China. And also, for the education, habang pinagbabawal ang pag-face-to-face, eh, nagkaroon tayo ng hanggang pag-ando na yung bakuna, dapat online class na. Ang lahat ng mga utilities gaya ng telecommunication, tubig at kuryente, dapat improve yan. Lalo na ang tubig. Kasi ang tubig po, dahil sa mababang critical level ng tubig sa hanggat, ipo at lamesa dam, kailangan dapat magtipit ng tubig. Ang kalutugan, we want health to improve. And we want rehabilitation. We already rehabilitated uh, We should not continue to test with the nation to reject U.S. and to cannot assert China for the West Philippine Sea. The Land, Land Use Act, we already rehabilitate Boracay, the end of martial law in Mindanao, and the reinstatement of the death penalty. So what does this mean? All in all, despite the pandemic, the sauna went, went on. So, Billy, what are you doing there? Okay. 
Okay. We have some announcements. Lili. 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 The promise one. Bobby Siris. Ah, Bobby Siris. Billy. Okay. While waiting for this, um, okay. for announcement from Pound for Pound Fitness, since we will be opening in the next couple of days, here are some of the reminders of what to do to keep everyone safe. Our temporary routine until things get back to normal. First, step on the foot mat to disinfect your shoes. We highly recommend that you use a different pair for working out. You can leave your shoes for the time being as long as it's in the bag or proper container, but the management will not be liable for any loss. Sanitize your hands, have a temperature check, scan our QR code to log in, do not skip steps 1 to 4, wearing of mask or shield while working out will depend on the LGU's decision, practice social distancing, markers, and stations are released in the gym of guide. Let's skip hugs, high fives, and dresses for now. Waves and nods. Sanitize as often as possible. Avoid touching your mouths so by sanitizing the equipment before and after use. And provide space with alcohol for your convenience. Bring your own towel and water bottle and finish your workout. You need to boost the immune system and to be healthy. And this is the one big way to be COVID. Stunning modern, yeah. Stunning modern small home. In so, um, red cabin by the river. But now, let us watch our new commercial of the radio.
Okay. Okay. Baby. Sorry. Okay. In my name, well, no, baby, go back. How will I be? Okay. Sige, um, uh, may apit na mag-SRO na. O sige, mag... Ano nga lang, sabi ko? Yung container, masa. Maraming nag-sapir eh. Ano yan, Siri? Oh, gumain nga ata eh. Hindi pa rin yung mga ginamit. Ano ba yung may mga rato na? Yes. So Billy is just eating, so I go ahead first. We only have 10 minutes left to go well, before we wrap up the show para bigay din sa SRO sa radio or yung BD is currently in school my new school Kumain lang muna si Bibi.
Dito tayo. Ano ba 'yan? 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 Ba may isang pa yan. Hindi pa yan hanggang dito. Doon sa mag-ano ganyan. Sa kundi. Kaya na ang SRO. Sa ilang sandali. Wow, tumaas na. Okay, um, guys, um, sorry for Billy is going to eat his dinner now, and we only have if it's time for us to wrap up and uh. Um, and that's sorry. it already with DIR. On behalf of all of us at the Inclusive Report, HMI on YouTube Radio, this is me and Carlos Kanashi and Billy Sant Pakuse. Billy, thank you for your time tonight. I will see you tomorrow at 7. 7 p.m. 7 p.m. for the Kumutan session. And I'm Karis Kanashi for the One Inclusion Live Weekend, Saturday edition, and the Kumustan session. But now, thank you, good night, may God bless us all, magpalain po ng poong may kapal. One Inclusion Forever. H&I, God bless. Goodbye. Coming up next is SRO.
Isang una.